Hi guys, it's Kai and Beck from Canon Oceania here at Sun Studios today to introduce two new SLR cameras to our entry range. So the cameras we're going to introduce are the 700D and the 100D. So the difference between these two cameras is this is the absolute top of our entry level range. A camera that's built with enough functions that you can really grow into the camera and really get into your creative journey. And the 100D is perfect for those people who've wanted to get a bit more creative with their photography and enjoy the quality and the creative possibilities that DSLR represents, but have previously not gone into DSLR because of the size that it represents. So the 100D is the world's smallest and lightest APS-C DSLR camera. So to give you an idea of just how compact this camera is, we've got the two next to each other. Uh, the 100D is approximately 23% lighter than the 700D and approximately 30% smaller. So you can see the two side by side. It really is quite a compact um, DSLR. Excellent, Beck. So at the heart of both of these cameras is a Canon 18 megapixel sensor uh, and also Canon's Digic 5 image processor. So what that means for you is you get unbelievable low light capabilities. Uh, both go up to ISO 12800. Uh, you can also expand that to 25600. So Beck, uh, tell us about the autofocus on both of these cameras. Yep. Uh, so the 100D has got a advanced live view autofocus system, which basically means there's a wider focus area, which is really good for shooting in full HD or for those people who like to shoot using the live view through the, the, the screen. And the great thing with uh, the 700D is it's also got the uh, nine focus points. The great thing with this one though is they're all cross type. So what that means is it's that bit more accurate and that little bit faster than its baby brother, the 100D. So Beck, tell us how fast the 100D shoots. So the EOS 100D shoots at up to four frames per second. And the EOS 700D shoots at up to five frames a second. So a little bit of difference there, uh, but if speed's what you're after, something that's gonna pull these two cameras apart uh, when you're making up your mind. So I guess some of the other important things, obviously a three inch LCD screen. Uh, one of the key differences um, here is it's a very angled screen. Both of them are also capacitive touch screens. So literally you can, uh, when you're viewing back your photos, you can pinch, um, you can stretch them out, you can flick back and forth and pretty much work your way, pretty much all the way through the menus just using your touch screen. Uh, in terms of video capability, they both shoot at full HD. Uh, we both um, have got stepping motor lenses uh, attached to the cameras, available in a few of the kits. Basically, the stepping motor technology is Canon's technology, which enables you to uh, achieve silent and smooth focusing during movie shooting. So as you mentioned, both of these are entry level cameras. So they do come with a lot of fun features as well, uh, built in. So you've got uh, different scene modes, uh, creative modes um, that can be applied uh, either as you're shooting or after the fact um, in playback mode uh, as well. So both cameras have got seven inbuilt creative filters to allow, uh, allow you to put a unique spin on your shots. We've got fisheye effect, toy camera effect, miniature effect, grainy black and white, soft focus, art bold effect, and water painting effect. And with the 100D, you can use the miniature effect in movie mode. There's a couple of other creative features that you'll find in the 100D that aren't actually in the 700D that probably make a lot of sense for someone who's after such a small, lightweight camera um, that's always on the go and out and about. So Beck, what, uh, yep. what additional features are in that little fella? So there are three great new special scene modes that basically assist you in getting the perfect shot in a variety of different situations. So we've got kids mode, which tracks the kids as they're moving around. We've got candlelight mode, which helps to preserve the ambience in a candlelit situation. And then we've got food mode for those of you who like to take photos of your food. Basically, this gives a warmer feel to the shot uh, to help your food uh, look as delicious as it was when you prepared it. Rightio guys, so if you're starting to get a bit confused between these two cameras, I guess to sum it up, if you're looking for a camera that's going to give you a great head start to your creative journey with plenty of features built in there uh, that's going to really allow you to grow into your camera, 700D is definitely for you and Beck. And the EOS 100D is for those people who've wanted to move into DSLR, it offers all the quality performance and creative possibilities of a DSLR camera, but in a compact body that enables you to take your creativity anywhere. 
Excellent guys, so if you're looking for more information, jump onto the Canon website and have a bit of a look around, all the detailed information's there. Uh, and of course, get into your local retailer, get your hands on these cameras so you can really get an understanding of, of how the camera uh, feels in your hand. Uh, and have a look at some of the fantastic kit options that your local retailer will offer for you. Thanks a lot guys. Thank you.